In this example, I'm going to show you a bare bones Python environment. This is not the way we will be working. We will be using Jupyter Notebooks, which are this web-based interface. But in case you only have a terminal and will see how to access one through the Jupyter server, what can you do with Python? So let's start a terminal from here. You should be able to do the same operation. And let's invoke a simple Python interpreter. Here we are. This is the Python prompt. So how do we use it? We can take the suggestion and type something like help to get some information and you see guides you step by step to actually obtain more help. Here we understand that this is Python 3.6. There is a pointer here to the online documentation and you can read more to learn more about Python. But let's for the time being quit this and go back to the prompt. So as you see we can enter for instance simple mathematical operations and Python will be able to carry them out for us and print the result. We can also tell Python to print strings. And for instance, I uh, am the interpreter. And there it goes. Uh, unfortunately, pardon me, I meant print. Unfortunately, if uh, we want to retype an instruction, we want to run in search again, we need to type it again. And this is not the best way to make use of a programming language. So we need to go one step further and look at programs, which we will do in the next example. For the time being, we can quit this interpreter and also exit the terminal.